To celebrate the spooky season of Halloween, I decided to make a spooky, horrifying video about the most disgusting, vile thing in the world, Chris Chan. If you couldn't tell already, I'm trying to put more personality in my videos, so you stick around and subscribe. Yeah, that would be cool. This video is about Chris Chan and what makes him so terrifying. I'm really sorry for interrupting the flow of this video, but I just wanted to mention that um, I got all of these clips from a YouTube channel called Harper Well. I really recommend you checking checking him out because I feel like his uh, content's pretty good with him posting more so like rare Christian clips that I use in many of my videos and I just want to shout him out and I just want to explain why there's a Harper Well watermark in the corner of the Christian clips. So yeah, check him out. Chris is a disgusting person. I don't think anybody can deny that. I mean, he literally cut his taint thinking he would become a vagina. But wait a minute, what does disgust have to do with Chris being terrifying? Well, we'll get to that, don't worry about it. So for now, let's list reasons as to why Chris Chan is a disgusting person. Chris doesn't clean himself, and from people he's met, they have all said he has terrible body odor that he tries to cover up with Axe Body Spray. He does that instead of trying to fix the problem by just having proper hygiene. That the homosexual population wear the Axe Body Spray as often as or greater than the straight people, like myself. Oh, have I also told you guys he used to drink his semen? So somehow trolls convinced him that the human body can only produce so much semen, so basically whenever he jerks off, he believes to not lose any semen, he has to drink it. He would commonly drink Fanta along with the semen so the taste wouldn't be as bad. Okay, after reading that, I feel like I need to brush my teeth. But again, this comes to the question, what makes all this so terrifying? Well, the disgust plus more things we'll talk about later in the video make him a disturbing figure. What makes a movie like Silence of the Lambs disturbing? Probably the disgusting actions the characters of Hannibal Lecter and Buffalo Bill have done. Also spoilers for a movie that came out like 30 years ago. You see footage of Buffalo Bill cutting people's skin and you hear Hannibal Lecter talk about his favorite meal. And all you can think about is how a human being can make themselves stoop to that level of disgust, and that's where Christian comes in. Now am I saying Christian is a serial killer? I mean, he could be, but from what we know, no. But how could someone be like that, to lower their standards to such an extent they'll have sex with their own mother? And to think that someone like that exists is kind of chilling. In this section will be more about the disturbing actions of Chris and what he's done to other people instead of just to himself. You see, what separates Chris Chan from a League of Legends player is that they sure both have the, lived the same lifestyle, but Chris has done much, much worse things to other people. He has ruined the life of anybody he's known, like Megan, Michael Schneider, and even his mom and dad. So let's go through how he's affected these people. Megan was the girl next door to Chris. Chris met Megan at the game place, where she was the only nice person to Chris there. I don't know why she would talk to him, because he would call black kids racial slurs and punch kids when he lost in a Pokemon battle. But nonetheless, they became friends, and this is where the story becomes dark. Chris would fantasize about Megan and wish they would be together, even though she would say that they were just friends, but Chris wanted to listen. He get the hint and she had to tell him multiple times that she didn't want to date him. Although I really don't mean to be cold, but please don't try and advance on kissing me, please. I've told you many times I don't want a serious relationship with you or any other guy for that matter, and so you really need to give up on me because it'll only make you miserable. So please do not waste more thoughts on me. Of course we are friends, but friends only. Please detach yourself from me. Also, I'm just a little mad that I have to keep telling you to please stop touching me. It's like you're not wanting to listen to me. I tell you, then you say okay, but eventually, you're back to the same tricks. In his comic called Sonichu, he inserted Megan into the story without her consent and drew disturbing pictures of them doing, um, acts. One of these pictures called She Came For Quake, I'm not gonna show this picture for obvious reasons, but nonetheless, Chris posted a, uh, picture between them, which was, uh, let's just say, not good for YouTube, and Megan was appalled by this and later asked Chris why he did this. 
I just don't know what to say now. I am very much scarred by that image, and it will never leave me. And I can't decide what's worse, the image in general or the fact you intentionally drew it and gave it to the webmaster for that site that you hate so much. Not only have you poured gas on the fire by doing that, adding obscenity to the already horrific site, but you have also embarrassed and humiliated me, and degraded and demeaned me whether you realize it or not. I mean, I'm not that kind of girl, and you know that, so why? And you also lied to me about it. In his words, he described it as wanting to get his urges out in a healthy way, because if he didn't, he doesn't know what he would do. What I mean by that is that uh, he doesn't know what he would do. He actually means like he's fierce he could do something worse. This sounds like if Chris didn't get his way, he would rape Megan. And Megan also interpreted this email to her in the same way and cut all ties with Chris. Megan. Well, I'm sorry, but that just makes me more angry in a way. It's not the actual sex act that traumatizes me. It's the fact that you fantasize doing such things to me when you know I would never. It's like, how do I know you're not going to abduct me and such? That was a figure of speech. You know what I mean? It creeps me out you have such thoughts about me. It's like you're stalking me, so you really need to back off. Chris. If I didn't have the foresight to put my pent-up frustrations and feelings in the form of something, I might have become an abusive maniac. So thank God for allowing me to release my bottled-up frustrations in a more positive, yet not so politically correct, and not physically hurting others, method. Be the release as it may, I am hurting so much more than you can be. I'm sorry for uploading the drawing, and I really wish I could go back in time and stop myself from making the mistake. Yet, I do not regret drawing the drawing, because if I hadn't released my frustrations in the creative sense, I might actually have done something really dumb and stupid. Megan. I can't put this behind me because I don't feel comfortable around you anymore, especially since you said you drew that so you wouldn't do anything stupid. What does that mean? Abducting me and raping me? I'm afraid I can't trust you anymore. Now let's move on to Michael Snyder. Now, who exactly is Michael Snyder? Michael Snyder was the owner of the game place that Chris would often go to, but he was kicked out for obvious reasons, and he decided to let out his anger in a healthy way. So he would attempt to take a picture of Michael Snyder and throw darts at it. So Chris went there and was trying to take pictures of Michael Snyder, but his daughter was also there, and Michael thought that Chris was taking pictures of his daughter. So naturally, Michael got infuriated and was walking close to Chris to tell him to delete the pictures he took of his daughter. But Chris panicked when Michael got close, and he decided to go full throttle in his car and hit Michael Snyder with his car. Thankfully, Michael didn't get hurt too badly, but Chris somehow didn't go to jail for this and had to only pay a couple thousand dollars to Michael and his family for his injuries. Now let's move on to Chris's mom, Barbara Chandler. Barbara and Chris had a normal relationship until the late 2010s when Chris had no girlfriend or wife to pleasure himself. Chris being a lonely, autistic, and mentally ill man, he decided to um, have sex with his mother. This is the stepping stone from Chris being a disgusting person to being a dangerous person. I don't want to go fully in depth about this in this video, but the complicated love between Chris and his mom could be its own video. But all you need to know is that Chris had become a monster. A man without love, human connection, and it's all in his own head. He has no empathy or feelings to others. That is what makes Chris Chan so terrifying. 